that's no surprise just because Remora is a great talented player, um, our you know, community champion as we like to meme, but also you know, multi-time TNS winner and well, plays with a really great team and starts it with a clean hit. Oh! It's playing on a little bit of lag, though. So that is an advantage that Living Legend can work with. And I was going to add on to that. Living Legend did uh, struggle a little bit against a uh, Zero Missiles player earlier with King Carlos. Sure. Not just player matchup uh, issues with Remora. Goes into the Segenmu, mm. and Tatsu actually hits both characters. No confirm, though. Zero is within an inch of his life. This is the final boss of the game, Max Magic Pixel Zero, but uh, we're good there. Dr. Doom coming in. Trying to stall at the moment. And Wesker neutral. Oh, I love it when Wesker used that, man. Great confirm off of the Tatsu as well. Whew, oh, got a little cute so there. Late. Virgil did get hit, but wasn't ready for the confirm. Mm, I'm loving the sequences from Living Legend right now, man. He's putting like multiple layers together. This is sick. Choose to just go ahead and burn the X Factor and get it going with. Brings back in Chris. Okay. Puts a super on the board. Oh, Whoa. I'm just gonna get countered. What? Huh? Break that down for me. Break it down for me, because I'm stupid. Okay, so Living Legend was expecting the invincible super there. As soon as he saw, uh, as soon as he realized. He went into the Wesker counter. Doom time is still a physical hitbox, even though it's not. What it a is? Hitbox. Yes. Anything that's wow. not uh, like, you know, a, a lot of things like that are not considered projectiles. Like Fatal Claw is oh not considered a projectile. Oh my So anything is that's it called not, Doom time? It is called Doom time. Is that really what the level three is called? Hundred percent. Doom. <laughs> Okay, all right. Well, um, that was sick. Very, very well done. Uh, now, unfortunately, he's getting lightning looped in the corner. So this is like the antithesis of what just happened. Um, Remora seems like they don't want to let any other... Whoa! That was almost kind of sick. Shout us the magic pixel nesting. <laughs> he said that was not a read. He took out the whole library. Uh, sincerely. Sincerely. That was sick. Well done. But now he's actually getting back into this game too because it was not looking good at the start, but okay. Oh, dude, he whiffed it. He wasn't ready for the loops. Remora's gonna have to make this happen with Virgil. Man. Oh, no, he, he actually snaps him. Whoa, that oh, was cool. He but he's dead now. It was a cool try. To the sphere flame, and Remora is on the board. That was so fast, bro. That was so fast. <laughs> Great well, retaliation from Remora there. Yeah, I mean, the Zero game looked like he was going to run away with it. That, the Zero game at the start. The gameplay was on point. He was hitting his loop. And then, you know, the character got out next. And Living Legend made, made something out of it. But, if yeah, if we get another Zero start like we did before... This might not be so good for Chris. Yep. Loop is active. Only one bar necessary as long as Remora finishes this combo. And there it is. And it comes in coming again. Oof. And it gets hit this time. That's in the Akuma. Yeah, I'd like again. to see it. Yeah. I like restricting it. I think that makes sense. Ooh, that's brutal. That's oh, that's brutal. gonna be a happy birthday. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, flew to the ground. That sucks, man. That sucks really bad. And now Wesker is getting all kinds of punish. Huge situation. Your X Factor is active. You are behind on meter, and you have to face a zero oncoming. This is about as rough as it could get if you're living legend. And he gets hit on incoming. That sucks, man. Remora. X Factor on. This is gonna make this a little bit easier. Puts it away. Now he's up, two to one, just like that. After a great start from Living Legend, I would say. Yeah, and what what sucks though is that Living Legend is not really making mistakes outside of some character uncharacteristic drops, and unfortunately, you can't afford that against Zero. Uh, you know, 
Zero and Virgil will just, you know, flip the world on you and then just steal the game out right from under your nose. Uh, so, honestly, Living Legend, go into character select screen and just get his composure and uh, run it back, stay with the game plan. I, I think it'll work out. It's just a matter of just finishing your play. Two to one lead, not insurmountable, but significant. Living Legend, you want to get a hit early, maybe big punish on an assist here, an early kill on zero, something that's not too expensive. I mean, if you get a hit on zero and you need an X Factor, I get it. That's totally fine. That's respectable. Ooh, okay, we're more ready to block your main. But really, you, you want to use your biggest resources, your biggest call outs on Virgil. That's a big, big confirm there because zero can take a touch like that and get a kill. Not going to be able to. So give him active. Just catches him standing up, man. No punish. After the drop. Chris has to deal with these missiles. Super jumps over them after a back dash. Oh. Moore doesn't go in for the punish on the happy birthday. Could have been the 70 MS latency. Chris trying to stall out above this again. Moo actually gets a machine gun fire, goes into the grenade super. Here comes Maximum Wesker. A lot of damage on zero. Oh, and actually goes over, gets wow. the S on the Doom before the missiles come out. Dr. Doom takes a hefty amount of damage as zero goes away. Oh, it's a great game for Living Legend right now. The air throw there is crucial, so we got to see a snap coming in. Yes, sir. Incoming. How good is it? Oh, Pretty best good, super. But not good enough. The best super is there, and he's got two characters, bro. Oh, this is a disaster. He falls out. Hold on. That oh. don't combo. He gets a chance, though. He gets weird. He gets weird. Oh, Rob Tech. You're, You're kidding me. Confirm level two X You're kidding me. Always got to be mindful of those. Oh, that's devastating, bro. Oh, the living legend camp. No. Oh, no. That was gross. Yeah, that was gross. Oh, man. He's perfect at controlling the normal jump height. So it'll, uh -huh. it'll okay. prevent Shenko from actually getting stuff. It'll allow Nova to do more box dashes and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that height kind of matches up. But you're right, the reflect is oh. a crazy tool set. Yeah, the rocks assist, huh? Yeah, molecular Easy shield is strategy. a strategy. It's a fantastic assist against uh, against Nova in particular. Um, although Plasma is good at counter calling Doctor Strange, uh, rocks is just great at uh, any aggressive characters that like to get on top of you. Yeah, you get the added uh, hitbox, the activation, where the rocks kind of swirl around. And of course, the the top arcs on the rocks hit at a really nice single for fox dashes, dive kicks, things of the sort. BZ Pooey already got his back to the wall with Dr. Doom and actually gets anti aired with the Gravimetric Pulse. That was really sick. This is going to be super efficient. Snapback setup. We get the full full setup. Oh, disrespect your surroundings. BZ Pooey's not having any part of it, bro. I think LT was anticipating uh, Spencer slant shots to come out there, but the assist call either like it wasn't ready or it just didn't come out. Mm, oh, that's not good. That's unfortunate. DHC wasn't ready. Could have gone into bionic arm or maneuvers there to actually confirm. Yo, oh, that works out. It looked like a, a missed push guard, but you know, we take those. If it was, um, if it wasn't, it was a great presence of mind. You hit a good button there. But, uh,. Yeah, LT is going to move up 1 0 now over PZ Poi. And I think the, the pieces are looking good. The strange is looking good. Wow, that was a great answer from PZ Poi there to just duck under the assist and punish. That's one thing you have to be very mindful of when you're playing Bolt of Ball Back is that typically you want to stay at the normal jump height at the time that the bolts are active and try to come down with the, the overheads because generally characters like Shenko can just stay under and throw out mm. buttons to anticipate the approach if you stay grounded. Oh, he perfectly threaded those photons to get the confirm going. And he gets into the, the loops here. So if we're on point, if we get our uh, note, we dropped it. Definitely had the damage potential, but not able to finish it off. The high speed tackle here. Are we going to see a mix up? Oh, baited out the alpha counter there. Hmm. Oh. Oh, and that was a happy birthday, but unfortunately the trade happened. Great use of the Gravimetric Pulse there to eat up the rocks so that Doctor Strange wouldn't get hit by him. 
punish, and that's gonna be another tag. Just get another chance to put it away. We're not gonna actually uh, snap. Interesting. We're just gonna let the Dark Man rock. Believe we can put him away in on incoming. I don't I hate like it. This. You can put the Eye of Agamotto out and pressure him. Mm, get him nice. That's exactly what you want to do there, is keep it nice and meaty. Deny that option, first and foremost. That's pretty much one of his only two options, is to just super or homebreaker on incoming. Shut that down. The uh, all right, Avagamado threatens an almost guaranteed second layer, so PZ feels compa compelled to do something. LT takes the second game. As PZ did say previously, he's not switching off Shenko for nobody. No, this is his team for these days, at least. He's enjoying it, and it's fine. It's given him success, and he's shown that he can push the character, so I like it. Stick with it. I like it. Oh, actually, switch the plasma beam off the molecular shield. Being able to counter call and just set up with the gongs allows. A, oh, uh, oh, bro. Geez, swing is ridiculous. Rare rear hitbox character. <laughs> Intentional, at least. Not some dumb stuff like you know, Spencer hitting behind his shoulder blades when he jabs. Yeah, PZ Point able to DHC safely there after LT burnt the only bar. Not being mm. able to high speed tackle there. Gets the cross up. Bro. Nova lost all the blocks in there at the perfect opportunity. Great diligence by PZ Point. Try there. to teleport. Yeah. Try to teleport. Got it with the meaty. Dr. Strange, uh, he didn't have any meter on incoming. Pretty much about as honest as Virgil is on incoming, if not more honest, to be to be completely frank. Ooh, he gets out. This is big. Spencer could have came down with that jump jab when Doom was mashing on that low and actually got a hit that could have turned this game around. Gets crossed up, though. PZ Poi is going to X-Factor here. PZ's on the board, baby. So that means Cinco's still alive, hunting for the first TNS championship. I mean, we only go to lower bracket, but still, you know, you obviously want to stay in winners. Ah, that's a great start for LT. He's so good at those overheads, man. He's lightning quick. Yeah, Raw tagging into Strange here. Going to be getting max damage off Shenko. No meter required if done correctly. Actually, both assists are gone, so probably will have to burn one. Such yep. an efficient combo, to be honest. So nice, and it just sounds good. Like the flames, the fall team loop sound good. It just, just a cool synergy. Love it. This is looking bad. No snap. Just gonna do it like we did before, and it worked out. So why not? Oh, oh. dropped it. Unfortunately, got a standing heavy instead of the impact palm. But you cannot negate chip damage on Supernova. This is death, man. This is death. He is overflowing with resources and ways to kill this version. So PZ Boy will be dropping to the lower bracket. Scary concept for everybody chilling down there. But LT moves on. Um, looking pretty good, man, in a 3-1 performance over PZ. And, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But if they can't get into that space, I think that's where they're vulnerable. And yes, definitely, 100%. you know, bringing some some characters like Deadpool, which I think fight Zero pretty okay, to be honest. I mean, I, I don't think Deadpool is super terrible against Zero. Um, you know, it's not going great to start here. It looks like Debu was ready and going to get a clean hit and probably a kill here. But uh, I do think Deadpool has, you know, a teleport and some, you know, projectiles that can trade with Zero in the neutral. Now, Ryu, on the other hand, this sucks. He gotta hold this. Oh, yeah, big time. This sucks really bad. Yep, got the air throw again. Attempt number two. Just going into the Segenmu. Mm. Gets hit. Don't know what Zenful was trying to do exactly there, but uh, did not matter. Got hit anyways. One thing that's always fun to note about uh, Zebu is that they'll always do some like ridiculous looking string, and it's just what Zay's bread and butter is. Okay, that's there, huge. Not taking a lot of damage, and Great Buster confirmed there, or punished, excuse me. As long as it got Dante off the screen, he can live. Mm. 
and didn't get the dash, unfortunately, after that buster, so won't be able to get the confirm. Stalling out this level 3 X Factor at the moment. Akuma's burning through the bar like it's cash. Dude, Dr. Doom oh, taking a lot of damage, bro. though. Lock him down. Scary. Scary leaving your assist on the hook like that whenever he's still glowing red. Akuma is now out of bar, though, so Genmu is out. I wouldn't put it past Zay to intentionally call assist just to force Akuma to burn that bar. Yeah, I'm it does. It does seem very controllable now, right? Because what does he do from full screen? Basically nothing. I mean, exactly what he's doing. He can jump and throw the Hadokens. He can try to do something really risky. Thank you, Brass Sandwich, for the resub. 23 months. Thank you so much. Almost two years of support to the channel. We really appreciate that. Zebu getting in a, a game here in top 24 losers against Zimpool. But Zimpool has a chance if he gets this Deadpool going, I think, more, more importantly than anything. We didn't get anything out of the Deadpool last time. Oof, it doesn't look like we're going to get it going this time either. That's pretty unfortunate, man. Oof. I'm going to go ahead and get <laughs> rid of the Deadpool. I wouldn't have been surprised if we saw a snap into Akuma just to get rid of the Akuma, but uh, I think Ryu oh. is probably just the least threatening character. So as long as they're okay. saved to last. Hold on, man. Okay. Maybe we try to get fancy with it. Maybe we tried to show a, a crazy look, and it didn't work out. Ryu got out and maybe looked like he was going to get something started, but now it's just uh, immediately getting beat up again. Oh! Oh, <laughs> traded with the, the S. Okay, I heard this is call. Mm, that's not going to hit, right? Yeah, in fact, the jam session... Bro, that was mega awkward for Zimpool. The X Factor has faded now from Zebu, so that's something. But Zimpool is really low on meter. Brings back in Ryu. Not a bad idea. Try to drain, drain that life meter out and try to, you know, get some resources going. Unfortunately, he's going to get cooked. And Akuma is going to have to come in and hold this, man. Alright, what's the next? Actually gets hit, and unfortunately drops the combo, gives Akuma a chance. Zenpool can make this comeback, he's very capable with this Akuma. Goes for the beam super, just gets some chip damage on zero. Zebu does not have any ways to negate the chip damage. No confirm off of the buster there, too far away. Stalling in the air with the palm, tries Ooh. to come down with the dive kick. Zebu get out of the way, punish. Finish with Gemu Zero, keep it clean. Already up 2 0. This is the zero player stuff, man. You want to be the bully, cancel out the advantages of the enemy character, just getting straight in and getting your game plan started. Got to get something going with this Deadpool, man. If we want to get back into the set, oh no, it just falls into a crouching light, my bro. This is grim. And he's gonna finish it too. Oh, Mamma Mia. The karate guy coming in once again. Practically defenseless. Got a block. Good block. Oh, gets the air throw. Okay. All right, we're out. Let's get something started if we could. We would love to see a maybe big juicy Shinku Hadoken on the assist. Mm, maybe he's playing around it. He's being careful. Oh, Hado sure you. That was cool. Oh, Got brother. Oh, the brother. Sabu's playing well. Sabu's playing really well right now. Comes out with the big video Keiko once again. Ryu's gonna not go down immediately, but will die to the buster on the wake up. Hatsu is gonna negate the jam session, hit Dante in the back of his stupid head. And the snap is going to trade with the Gohado Super. Didn't get the guard break like intended, but still managed to get pizza cut pressure. No punish there. Kuma trying to get the palm. Backed up into the Super. No, he didn't. Actually stayed under. Got the punish from behind. Oh, brother. Zebu start to finish. I don't think Zero ever died. No. I think I saw zero combo in characters every match. And zero typically 
does a better job against Nova than most characters in neutral, obviously, because he's zero. So this might be interesting, just on paper, how this matchup could function. Dude, I think, uh, yeah, I think that's really interesting. The, what you said, the, the assist matchup, the idea of triple arrow versus disruptor. Great confirmed there. Beautiful, beautiful confirmed. And if Locker can kill Nova and get control going immediately, then great. I mean, you don't want Spencer to touch the ground. You definitely don't. You do not want to let him get, get started. And Zero has some of the most unfair incomings in the game. So, kill this Nova. Great. Perfect. Now, what do we got for him? Ooh, he's got to hold it. Second chance. Finds a hit, but not able to confirm. So, okay. Okay. Yeah. And... That is going to be the end of Spencer, provided that Flocker does not get messed up by Parsec. Mm. Doesn't look like it. Cooked. Magneto's coming in, and of course, Mundank has magic loaded in this character, but he's going to have to touch the ground first. Okay, layer after layer, he's still alive. Flocker chasing. Yo. That was so good. The fadeaway. That was so good, man. That was a sniper fadeaway, bro. That was so good. Great pressure Ooh. there. Caused Flocker to hesitate and actually gave Monday enough time to actually get the overhead. The gravity squeeze here. Save the X Factor versus Hawkeye. Love to see it. Hawkeye is absolutely terrifying. They still have X Factor on deck. Oh, tried to go for the throw there. Got hit with the jump light instead, though. Mm, with this. Yeah, I feel like you gotta get a punish there, but it's okay. He's respecting it. Wow, just runs up and gets the low into the launcher. Level it's three will put it away. Mania. Wow, <laughs> one zero from Walker. Good start. Player one wins. <laughs> That's great. That's great. Oh, we're box dashing. Zero backing up and out of the sequence. He said, nah, you can have that, man. I'm out of here, bro. We're going to play some neutral. Shatter Queen with another gifted sub. Thank you. Enjoy that so oh. much. That was disgusting. It looked like Flocker blocked it correctly, and there was a lot of confusion with what side Monday actually landed on. I think that was one of those situations where it technically hit in front, but Nova landed behind, and even though he was already behind, it was really weird. And so Nova actually got the benefit of that. Zero goes down, Virgil comes in. Great block from Monday, calling the Disruptor, knowing that Flocker was gonna come in with the Helmbreaker. Disguise that incoming oh, perfectly. Oh, that's it, yeah. Ouch. That was great. Right where he needed to be creating noise where Virgil was trying to get out. Fox is in the Hawkeye. Yo, that's so sad. I love when all guys do that, man. Standing medium is such a good button. Oh, tried to get the jab and actually put himself in the corner. But the exploding arrow, double exploding arrow. Normally, Spencer's able to get the confirm because Bionic arm lasts long enough. But if there's two hitboxes, you're not getting the pickup after that. Dude, with the X-Factor active here, man, oh. this is totally doable because... I mean, I do think Magneto probably wins this matchup pretty free, right? Especially if... Oh, F? Okay, we're back, baby. I hear it. I, I, I'm feeling it. There's... Okay, yeah. There's trouble afoot, and it's for Hawkeye. Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty stiff character overall in Hawkeye. It's, I mean, he literally kind of shoots the exact angles and stuff, and... Yeah, it's pretty easy for me to maneuver around that. Get the tie one to one. Right. Oh, mm. Harangeki beat out the slide. Staying above the air right now, trying to get stall at that disruptor assist. Harangeki's covering the ground. Buster to punish the disruptor. Pulsing around at the moment, grab metric pulse. Did not go up for the punish. Didn't want to challenge it. I respect it. <laughs> Monday is usually so good at working in that jump light and that jump medium, man. I love seeing him go for it there. It didn't quite work out. And actually, Flocker, after the scramble, is going to find a dead Nova and an incoming. 
on Spencer, who's pretty much gonna have to hold this. Gets out. This is so fortunate for Monday, man. I feel like he should have been hit and he should have been killed. So he needs to make the most of this. He's doing a great job of avoiding the zero neutral so far. Decent little punish on Virgil as well. Stacking some HP. Oh, that's big. It's really big. Kill this guy. Big Tempest. Have to deal with the Magneto on point now versus Virgil. Blocks mm. the slant grapple, but not, does not block try jump. Walker now in big trouble because we're losing the huge asset. Obviously, the Hawkeye has shown that he can already fight and do this. Yeah, yep, that's waited for that. Extra. Love that. Okay, so uh, I, I I gotta give a shout out to you. Um, shout out to uh, Kendrick Party for doing uh, streams that review matches. Yes, uh, but we, get, we just had a hundred gifted subs to the channel, bro. Oh my lord. Yeah. Yeah. I missed Holy that. Holy smokes, dude! P1 bring a hundred gifted subs make no bones about it that is a lot of money man that is a huge huge show of support to the tns community thank you so much sincerely that is ridiculous show some hype in the chat please smash some buttons please spam those emotes especially if you just got a sub and you're in the channel i know there's a lot of viewers up in here man that that is serious bread yeah that's a lot of money man thank you so much that's crazy and the support in the match arena tonight guys I mean, honestly, it has been phenomenal front to start. So thank you so much. And the Prime subscription right yeah, after. Yeah, and the Prime. Oh, my God, P1. P1 D41, bro. Thank you so much. MVP Incredible. of the night is none of the players in the tournament. <laughs> thank you yeah. so much, P1. It's the community for real, guys. Y'all are serious. Meanwhile, Mundank is putting some lumps up on Flocker. Oh, that was so... Beautiful. That's what the gifted subbies are for, baby. Absolutely amazing setup for Monday. He's trying to put this Hawkeye away. He's gonna have to make it happen. Fruity with another gifted sub. Thank you so much, guys. I can't wait to see the sub counter after this. You guys are for real. Oh, dude. What a crazy night. Ooh. Right, and Spencer should probably finish this off. Draining that X Factor out for sure. We don't get a extension, right? Oh, we do because the Nova Sist is alive. I didn't even see that. Oh my goodness. Oh, and He's just got enough bar. bar to be able to go into the DHC too. Funny how that little hit of Spencer to start the super always builds a little bit of bar, huh? Yeah. What's up with that?